In this video we're making a wallet which has been designed and with a free PDF from Creators Navi Leather. There's a link in the description. The leather hide I bought from Buy Leather Online. It's a B grade belly, veg tan. I find that it's very versatile for projects and the bonus is it's cheap. What I wanted to do was take his pattern, customise it and make it sort of my own but also so I could improve my skills. So what I intend to do is some leather tooling which I am not good at. I also intend on ageing the project with a product that I have accessible to me here in Finland. In Swedish it directly translates as leather fat. I find it's very good for making the leather softer and weatherproofing it and it also gives the leather a good feed. I have two colours. One is a clear but it sort of just makes the leather a little bit darker and the other is black which I've recently purchased because I figured if I'm tooling the leather I could put some into the tooling work it will make it maybe stand out a bit more but it will also give that appearance that the leather's aged. So apart from the tooling the other major changes I made was a thumb slot sort of to get your bank cards out more easily and then the where the banknotes go in the rear of the wallet I actually decided to put a curve in and a diagonal line down so it fits in and out easier I think it was a, a good decision but you'll see that by the end result
I'm quite pleased how the project turned out. Yes, the thumb slot wasn't quite centrally aligned, but it was an experiment, and this is what the whole point of this channel is. You know, you you get a project, you see it's a nice, easy thing to make, you're not very experienced at leathercraft, like me, and then you try and just make a few changes. Now, what I do like about the project, and I'm holding the wallet as I'm sort of talking about it now, is the tooling came out quite well. There was one line where I sort of gave a thumbs down in the video, and that came out a bit wonky. But the other lines, reasonably straight. The beveling, yeah, it, it's beveled, but it's not pretty as you would expect from some of the other YouTube streamers that I religiously watch and try and learn from. But this is part of the learning process. If I don't make mistakes, I'm never gonna get any better. And I'd rather be sharing my mistakes than anything else. One thing I did find though with this belly leather, if you cut too deep and tool too hard, you will actually cut holes straight through the leather and that is not shown in the video but that actually happened on the tooling of the wallet so I'm a little bit disappointed in myself for that but I should be remedying that with some more leather that I've had I've got now on order and I will then try and use a slightly thicker cut of leather to tool with because yeah as i said it, this i'm looking at it in my hand and i'm really pleased with how the stitching is the stitching is if i was to score it as a grade out of 10 i would say it's a solid seven there's a couple of bits where i can see that i've switched my hand technique so if you're doing saddle stitch you're supposed to keep it uniform and go the same way every time and loop it over the same way every time. I did not, apparently, because you, I can see it in the stitching. It could be the way I was pulling it and tightening it. Um, usually when I do my knife sheaths, it would all be reasonably perfect. Um, I do not know where I got distracted from on this one. And also, when you're watching the video, you notice that with the long thread, it's, how can I put it? Sometimes you get yourself in a tangle, and that's something I hope to learn how to remedy in some of my next videos. But thank you for watching, and I'm sorry if this doesn't sound professional, but I'm not professional, I'm just learning how to edit.